Step line bracket, here we go. Time for the championship match. Lindsey Boomershine, top seed, Maria Jose Rodriguez. A tight four pin win. Darlene Beyer from Wisconsin in the third match. Lindsey has never won a title on tour. Is this her night? We're about to find out. Let's go back to CDB. Well, Maria had a long discussion with Nathan, and because she is fighting the front part of the lane so much, she made it funny when she came over. She goes, are we going to re-oil the lanes before the championship match? Because she was fighting it so much, they opted to actually uh, stay with the same ball, but she's going to change her angles. She's actually going to try to get a little bit further right with the feet and the eyes and throw it just a little bit harder. Lindsay is going to play the lanes identical to how she's been playing around that five, six, seven area, but she is already on her ball choice number four because they need something cleaner to fight that friction, but still trying to grab that hold down lane. Great news, Carolyn. Again, again, as Maria started to migrate inward, right, she had to go left to right, couldn't keep it in front of the head pin, so going back to the right, being firmer on top of it, and using that early friction to slow the ball down is a good idea. Lindsay's going to stay in her zone. She stayed there all week long. I watched her strike a heck of a lot when I was crossing next to her in qualification, and as you said, she's going to a much cleaner ball, pearlized cover, a little bit of surface on it, staying in that same zone. Top seed from Brigham City, Utah. Her first shot. Trouble. Two pin here for Lindsay. Six and one match play. To get to the top seed, beat Maria. Here last night, 619, 596. First ever Queens TV show. Second championship round appearance this year, as we heard from email a moment ago, fourth in the Stockton Open to open up the season. Been a runner-up a few times, but never a champion. Maybe that changes tonight here, Kelly. You never know, Dave. had the moment to sit down with Lindsay. She talked about the changes in her physical game. Five-step approach, really trying to lead with the push away over her right leg. But her key moment was getting the ball into the swing nice and smooth so it goes to the top of the bat swing. And now as it goes forward, everything is on that smooth line. She slides, great deep knee bend, extensive follow through. She said she's felt the best about her game in a very long time, giving her the chance to be in this position tonight. She told us she's having fun for the first time in a long time. Left lane. All right. Works extensively with a sports psychologist. She dreams about bowling a lot. <laughs> the next day, we'll go to husband Hank, standing bowler himself, and very heavily involved in the sport, of course. And they'll implement some of the things that she dreams about at night. Sometimes it works out really well. Okay, now I do notice Maria is using a different ball. Before the pin placement, the one in the earlier match was higher above the fingers. This one seems to be in the center of the palm. So there is a ball change somewhere in here. Right leg. Oh, good shot. Ten pin stands. Ever dream about bowling and then practice that the next day? Is that yeah. thing for you? You know, the one thing, being the junior head coach of Team USA, I'm really focusing on practicing visualization with my mm -hmm. athletes this year at the camp and everything, getting them prepared. All the great athletes do it. You know, whether you dream it, you visualize it, everything, it does make a difference in your athleticism. Ten pin there. So let's compare Maria and her game from 2019. Remember, she had the toe injury in August of 2019. Broken toe it took her a long time, Kelly, to get better. Yeah, well, here she's only doing four steps. She's four steps here as well. You can see her hips opened up a lot more. She's more in alignment from the back part of the lane. She's not overthrowing it nearly as much. When you had that toe injury, she had to rely on her upper body to get the ball through the lane, down on the lane. Now she's using more of a lower body or center of gravity in your legs to accelerate and increase her ball speed. Flat 10 there. Championship match underway here in Vegas. Dave Kelly, Carolyn, and entire crew watching women's polling history unfold here tonight. As the mark stays clean. 
Now, Lindsay, this is this year. I mean, in talking with her last night, obviously bowling against her during the week and everything, she seems so collected. She she just finally feels like she's in a great mindset to put her in the position that she's in tonight. She's very comfortable with her game, with her physical abilities within her game, her releases. She's got more versatility along the way. You know, she gets to practice at the storm plan all the time, so she's really taking advantage of her resources, and it's it's proven here tonight. Right lane for Lindsay. Missed the target. And trouble. 2 4 eight, 10. Very tough conversion. Yeah, she's right up the eight board. She was a little bit further right during competition. You can see the ball really struggling to try to get back towards the pocket. And when it does, it's already rolling forward. So it's, it's really burning much of its inertia, a lot of its energy. It is a makeable spare. She can make this. Big shot, third frame. Lots of cover. Yes! Gets it done. What a shot. You want to win a major, you got to come through. And big moments like that in Boomershine certainly does. Yeah, I mean, the 2 8 spare was not even, it was so hard to make anyway with this pattern, but again, she makes it look easy. Two, BPA, four, eight, moment of the match, Kel, for good reason. What a spare for Lindsay Boomershine. That was fun. <laughs> she <laughs> talked about having fun again for the first time in years on the lanes. Going back to the scenario you talked about earlier, Dave, you got two husbands and two wives bowling, both all repping for each one of them. So a lot of love on the lanes right now. Trip four pin, big shot. Bolt TV delivers live multi channel coverage of the PWBA Tour, PBA 50, Team USA, and USBC Collegiate and Youth Tournaments, plus much more great bowling content. Visit BoltTV.com to subscribe today. Bowling lives here. Got some special guests in the house. Andrew Anderson is here, former PBA Player of the Year. Didn't like it. No, it was online. A little slower. A little slower. You could hear telling her to slow down. Stop hooking overall. 14 15. The women have not deviated. They're staying in that same part. You could see the ball right there. So all of a sudden it was going this direction. Quickly picked up. Just tries to bounce out any wood from the back. Four frames in. Tough open. Win probability way up there now for Boomer Shine. So much has changed in Marie's game. But the goal remains the same. Be back on top. Much better shot. Left lane. Tattoos the one three pocket with power. Those pins had no chance whatsoever. I can tell the left lane hooks a little bit more. She's deeper inside. 9 10, not much more. One or two boards. I think both ladies are having fun within these first few frames. All right, 2 4 8 10 last time she converted it. What's her adjustment here? Big shot. It was pretty good. Trip 10 pin, getting closer to the tiara and the big jack, Carolyn. 2 4 8 10. Uh, when she was done with her shot on the left lane, she came over, spoke to Hank. Steve was standing there as well. She said right away, I got my angles left to right. I've got to stay square on the right lane. So she said, That's all I'm focusing on is keeping it in front of me, and I'm going to make a good shot. Good notation there, Carolyn. Yeah, I spoke to Hank earlier before the ladies even started competition, and he said when they got much tighter, he said move your feet right but keep your eyes left and just feel again, using that word, jamming the ball in towards the pocket. So it's an out-to-in angle, something you don't see very often, but it is right-to-left angle towards that 1-3 pocket. Hank is Lindsay's husband. 
Left lane. It's high. It's the big four. It's big trouble for Boomer Shine. The left lane does have more. This was a good shot. She's definitely chasing it left. That was in inside just a bit. You can see the white boards right over there. That's hovering between 9, 10, 11, slightly inside. I know you said you had to play the hold, and there was some there. But the angle just has to be just right. It's still a difficult pattern to combat. 4-7 stands, open frame. Match changes again here. These frames are big. Maria's going to finish the game, the match, which could potentially win her the tiara on this lane. She's got three attempts now to get lined in for sure. Little left to right. Catches a break. Got it. I don't know much Spanish, Dave, but I know Por favor, man. Please, please. <laughs> While well, we have a moment, special shout out to two great bowling fans, super fans in Florida, Alex and Sandy Weiner, who are watching tonight. They love the sport. We love a great finish coming up here. Big shot. Get the, get the, get the. Tied. <laughs> Three six stand. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah, same the shot. Transition. As it is. I mean, okay, so think of this. She went to throw it firmer, but even though you're throwing it firmer into early hook, the ball's still gonna hook. You can see it right there. It picks up much, much sooner. The move here, it's it, it's gotta be a move. You have to find a little bit of hold. You, you, unfortunately, you gotta chase it left. I think with all the women bowling as long as they did oh. on this TV pair. There is no hold from the right. There is early hook and friction. Oh, my. Huge miss. And an open frame disaster for Maria. On the bench, Lindsay up now 11 pins. But in her seventh, she works on an open. Come on. Each woman has three strikes so far in this match. Lindsay found her path to the pocket last time on this right lane. From Raw America in Nebraska. The tie right out of her hand that it was. Yeah. 310 baby split. Missed the mark. You know, and I gotta applaud the women too. Everyone that's watching is just thinking, wow, they're just making bad shots or making bad shots. They're tentative because they have to manufacture something, right? The pattern's telling them that they have to move inward, they have to find more hold. There's so much early friction in the front part of the lane, the first 15 feet, as well as a little bit to the right from like seven out. So you're trying to constantly manufacture something. These are the best bowlers in the world right now. And it is difficult. They just have to find a way to control the 1-3 and leave a flat 10. That would be my advice. Try to leave the flat 10. Big conversion, baby split. That was huge in the seventh frame for Mark. But it's still anyone's match here. Kelly has these two great bowlers go back and forth. It is. It is. I mean, if I think about this pattern and what it's done over the course of, of these matches, look, and all the women have been playing here, here. Now they've removed this oil and they've created early friction. Now they're starting, the hook players are moving in, bouncing a little bit more, or they're just paralleling and try to shove it to the three pin. They have to move zones. They have to get away from that friction in order to get the ball to the one-three pocket. Pretty good. He was pretty good. Likes it on for him. Seven pin goes down for the former national player of the year at Nebraska. Had a great career, a lot of top fives and runner up finishes, but just never a title. Maybe that changes here tonight. Yeah, she moved deeper. She was at 12 at the Arizona, getting closer to the head pin. And when you're going into more oil, okay, if there's much more oil, you just gotta get a little bit softer with your speed. You can help the ball manufacture and change direction, be a little bit softer as you move inward. His quest for a third major continues. Big shot right lane, delivers! Seven goes down late. Huge strike. Yeah, I mean, Maria, I know she said she's back physically, right? Her game is better. 
you know, she's really, her body posture at the release, because the ladies are trying to manufacture something, it's a little bit inconsistent. We're trying to see the results, really focus on that process. I tell both ladies right now, take a deep breath, rely on what you can control, make good deliveries, let it come down, who makes the best shots in the next two frames. Catches the double. Huge strike. Wow. Down by one pin now in the ninth frame. A big delivery for Marie on the left line. Puts it in Lindsay's court. So again, she moved in left too. She got deeper. Have to. You have to. Max scores. Don't forget the matches were three games each. Only nine games between, or six games between two individuals. You've had five women now bowl. And plus the practice prior to the matches even beginning. Go back up 11. Almost the bucket leave. Yeah, and that was a great shot by Lindsay. Honestly, everything was key. Online, ball speed was pretty good. You know, she's just trying to combat this pattern. She's really just trying to work on keeping that 1-3 pocket. Like I said, flat 10. Okay, it was a 2-4, but it's a makeable spare. Makeable spare that's going to keep her in this match going into the next frame. Battle for survival in these tough conditions. I said it wasn't going to be that high scoring. I knew it wasn't going to be. 196 average going into this match. Two four enough for a match play average 213 over 18 games, qualifying after 15 games 200.33. So yes, this has been a tough pattern throughout for all of these great He's bowlers. We're down to the final two into the final frame. Who emerges the victor? Yeah, 211 max score for Maria, 202 for Lindsay. Just like she said, it's what she's been waiting for. She said her whole life she's waited for this moment, this chance to be a major champion, to be a PWBA Tour champion. All rests on this frame. Starts the 10th. It's a good shot. Sure was. 60 feet to success for Lindsay. All right, so again, max score 202. She goes spare, 192. Really good shot right up around 11. Hovering over those three white boards over there directly to the 1-3 pocket. One good shot here. This is what you've been training for. Positive talk. Another good shot. Pounds the pocket. You bet. Obliterates the one three pocket. Shrapnel in the pit. A huge strike. Now one more coming up. That was huge, Dave. You know why? This forces Maria to get the first strike in the 10th frame in order to survive. Great delivery by Lindsay. One more makes a score of 202. Another good shot here. Nine counts, nine pins forces Maria to get the first strike in the 10th frame. Watch this one. Gets it. Great shot by Lindsay. Maria must strike. She must strike to stay alive. She really needs a double and two pins really to win this match. Big, big shot, Dave, right here coming up. She's got to have it. She doesn't get it. 
Lindsey Boomershine has won the 2023 USBC Queens. It's her first career PWBA Tour title, and it's a major. What a night for Lindsey Boomershine. It's over. <laughs> the tiara, the title, the big prize money, and a hug from husband Hank. I can't believe it. The long wait for Lindsay Boomershine is over. She's won on tour. Yes! Artemis Arts, H5G, the best company representing work for my family, my beautiful boy Aiden. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> and, uh, it's time to laugh. Hey, it's time to cry. Congratulations, Lindsay, a champion at last on the PWBA tour.